Hi everyone, how are you? Oh boy, I forgot to turn off all my devices. Uh, I hope the quality is going to be okay. Here, am I a little crooked? Ooh, I look a little crooked, huh? Let me fix something here. Hold on just a minute. I think I might have tapped. Ooh, now I'm really crooked. Bear with me just for a second. I have something good to tell you. Okay, well, maybe that's not so bad. Okay, uh, good evening. How is everyone? I hope you are well. And those of you that are, you know, th in the country that are um, suffering from either Hurricane Harvey or now the anxiety of Hurricane Irma, my thoughts and prayers are with you. Being a Florida girl, I lived through many of them. Not fun, I realize that, and you just have to do what the officials tell you to do. And uh, prayers and thoughts go out to all of you, and batten down those hatches, and if you can, get out of Dodge. Yeah, especially those Floridians, if you can, just get out. Anyway, so we're into September. I know, we're in the, la we're in the, the last quarter of the month, here we go. Crazy, huh? Summer just flew by, and uh, summertime weather hasn't flown by quite yet. For a lot of you, maybe some of you, it has. And if it <laughs> has flown by, yeah, high five, because it hasn't flown by in California. We are in the thick of it now. But it's a time of year that you kind of start thinking about, you want to get into your fall clothes, but it's way too hot. And in the industry, it's basically called the transitional season. There are really two times uh, a year that there are really big transitional seasons. So it's between the summer and the fall, and then the winter and the spring. Those are the two times of year that we really, even though I know there are four seasons, but those are the times that you really start thinking more about that transitional dressing. And what do you wear? Because you want to be hip and cool, uh, wearing some of your fall things, but you know it's not quite fall weather yet. You're gonna just die a slow death in, in wools and cashmeres and, and anything too heavy and long sleeves and you know tights and all that kind of stuff if you're in a warmer climate, if it's not quite ready for that. Now technically, s summer is not over until what the like 20 something 21st 22nd of September so we are still basically in summer but a lot of people consider right after Labor Day fall you know you just automatically think fall kids are back to school you know it's it's a whole different maybe feeling at work you know now you're buckling down to get through the end of the you know the year this last quarter so uh, a lot of times, a lot of um, conferences, conventions are happening now into the fall, the first couple of months uh, in before we hit the holidays. So what do you wear? What is, what is transitional dressing? And I get asked this question quite often, and I've written articles about it, but I'm just going to give you a few tips tonight about what my thoughts are on transitional dressing. So I did a little transitional dressing tonight. I went into something a little bit more autumnal in the olives with the nail heads on it, feeling uh, like I want to jump into to fall as fast as I can, but sleeveless because it's not happening quite here in Los Angeles. So you want to start thinking about, for your transitional dressing, some of the fall colors, but not the fall fabrics. You want to stay lighter weight, especially if you're in a warmer climate. So you think, you know, you still can eke by with a few linens, though linen was really scarce this season, I, I thought. It was not happening. But if you do have something tried and true that you like, as long as it's perhaps in, a, um, in an autumnal color, like a chocolate brown, a black, uh, a beige, which is a good neutral that is year round, that you can maybe add some leopard to it, uh, that can you know kind of give it sort of an autumnal feel. You can get by with some linens and some cottons. For sometimes, depending where you are in the world, 
you can almost eke it into October. But as long as you keep it away from summer timing, light, bright colors, you know, you go into your fall autumnal colors. Okay, that's the key to uh, working the linen and the cottons. Because uh, you still can be wearing, you know, cotton dresses. But I would skip the ones that are, are white and bright colors uh, going in to the, towards the end of September. You know, even though if it's in a hot climate, you know, you, st you start to want to kind of, trans again, transition into more of a fall wardrobe. Now, with manufacturers in their, the way that they bring, roll out their goods for the new season, they usually start with a lot of this transitional dressing. It's a lot of fabrics that are synthetics, they're, they're lighter weight, they're almost um, uh, what I call seasonless fabrics unless you are in the dead of the north and you know you wouldn't be caught dead in the middle of January wearing some of those lighter weight fabrics. But depending where you are, but you all you have to do is, a, is just give it more of an autumn feel with your accessories and maybe tops underneath, uh, add in you know, a few of the autumn colors that I talked about. I think they're down below in my feed. I gave you the Pantone color palette, what is going to be our big fall trends this year, which is kind of the usual suspects, what you normally think. But there are a few twists and turns thrown in there. There are a few very soft colors for those of you with cool skin. There's some, they're kind of thrown in there too. So they're, you know, cause I love chocolate brown and like lavender. That's beautiful together. Or if you're going with grays, then to add a soft pink or lavender or that soft aqua. Cause they're, the muted colors, the muted um, pastels are really going to be thrown into the autumn colors too. So it's kind of a, you know, a little mishmash of uh, different different things that you're going to be able to wear. There's something for everybody. Red being one of the big colors, seriously big. And we're going to range red from those deep, rich oxblood reds, really good ones, all the way into more of the pink tones and, the, and more of the hot pink magentas. So it, it runs the gamut. But a lot of the designers are focusing on that really rich red and the brick red, which tends to have a little bit more brown in it. And it's really, really good for the warm skin tones. Uh, the more the blue reds are better for the cool skin tones and more of those brick brownish reds are going to be better for the warm skin tones. So uh, again, with the transitional, you know, just really think towards what colors you're going for. It's, is, as I said, it still can be lighter weight fabrics but you just want to change your colors up a little bit and uh, move into something that is, is going to give you that, that feel of autumn, but not so much the heaviness. So look for the lighter weight fabrics right now, and they will serve you well when we get into transitioning from winter into spring. You'll be able to use those types of fabrics. You know what I'm talking about. A lot of them are, a lot of synthetics out there. You'll be able to wear them in that transition period too, with accessorizing them with lighter tones and brighter tones. So that's kind of the key to transitional dressing. And a lot of times right now, that, you know, as I said, conferences are going on. So you're going to be in conference rooms, which can be really chilly. You know, they like to keep those, which I'm, <laughs> I'm a polar bear, so I would be perfectly happy, sleeveless, in one of those conference rooms that was 65 degrees. But a lot of you are not like me, and that would just, you would just freeze to death. So, uh, you know, again, you can, you know, do some layering up and then pull into some of your uh, autumn pieces and even you know, throw a sweater on if need be, which you very well could need to have a sweater. So think of it in those terms. I always like to do a lot of layering in that case when I'm doing conferences uh, so that you can, if you're going outside or you're going into uh, a, 
a restaurant, maybe sitting outside, you can peel some of those layers off so you're not dying. But then when you go back into your conference room, you have uh, appropriate gear that you're not going to freeze to death if, if you do um, get really chilly or you get stuck by an air conditioning vent, which can happen. So anyway, I hope that helps uh, those ladies that were asking me about transitional dressing and what to do. So again, think about color, your fabrics, and uh, have fun with it. So if you've got any other questions, please let me know. Going into fall, I will be doing a big old webinar uh, towards the end of this month. So be look so look forward to uh, receiving that information. And uh, I'm waiting to make sure I, I have enough goods so that I can do a really great show and tell with that webinar, like the hits and the misses for this fall and what to wear that's going to serve you well and not be a trend that you're just going to be like, oh my God, I just spent that money and it's a big old waste because you don't want to do that. So have a great evening and I will see you again very soon. If you know somebody that can benefit from this information, please share the video. I would love that. And uh, give me some hearts and thumbs up, okay, if you enjoyed this information. All right, everyone, I will see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.